morning good afternoon good evening hey guys i just wanted to do an update about Jaden roker um this this weekend the community said and his family and friends say goodbye to Jaden. he was uh if you guys forgot he was a northland teen north kansas city teen who was found in a pond uh, near my house a week ago uh, services were held at the Good Shepherd Church in Gladstone um, they had a visitation service on Saturday the church was filled with people coming to pay their respects everyone was so touched by his contagious smile his aunt Susan Deaton said he'll have a legacy beyond the 13 years he lived the church had displays with photos and some of Jaden's favorite things, from Pokemon cards to toy trucks. Now his family is holding on to the 13 years they had with him, embracing every memory. In such a dark place of our lives, it's his brightness that is just, it gives you life. It gives you a bit of life, Dean said. His memory will definitely be carried on. In the hard times without him, they say they'll remember the sweet memories they had with him. Even as they say goodbye, his family is committed to getting answers about what happened to Jaden and how his life ended so early. After today, I'm not done. I'm going to continue telling Jaden's story, Deaton said. It'll be a long fight, but if it's the last thing I do, it's the last breath, whatever, I will see it. I will see it through. Police do not think the death was a result of foul play, but they are still investigating. My question is, what happened to Jaden? And I will follow this through. I want to know what happened to Jaden. The next clip is going to be um, a video from the news of the um, sorry, this is hard for me to talk about the services they had for Jaden. So if you're, um, triggered by that, don't watch the next clip. It's not going to be, you're not going to see him or anything, but just beware. Um, just a moment. His hey guys, family here we in are. the community said goodbye to 13-year-old Jaden Robker. The Northland teen was missing for more than a month. Divers found his body in a pond last week near North Broadway and Northwest Inglewood Road. Today, the community held a celebration of life for Jaden. KNBC 9's Peyton Headley was there and talked with his family. Just everybody was so touched by that contagious smile. It's hard to say goodbye when you lose someone you love especially when that loss is so innocent. He'll have a legacy oh, beyond beautiful. the 13 years that he lived. Saturday afternoon, the community came together to celebrate the life of Jaden Robker. I didn't want to think that this is where we'd be. Um, you always had a little glimmer of hope. Robker was only 13 years old when divers pulled his body from a pond after he'd been missing for more than a month. Now, his family is holding on to the 13 years they had with him, embracing every memory. In just such a dark space of our lives, it's his brightness, you know, that it just, it gives you life. It gives you a little bit of life. In the hard times without him, they'll remember the sweet moments they had with him. His memory will definitely be carried on. Even as they say goodbye, they'll keep looking for answers about what happened to Jaden and how his life ended so early. After today, I'm not done. I'm gonna continue telling Jaden's story. It'll be a long fight, but if it's the last thing I do, if it's the last breath, whatever, I will see it. I will see it through. Amen. And police don't think the death was the result of foul play, but they are still investigating. I, um, like I said, I'll follow it through and we will find out what this cause of death will be, was, excuse me. 
and uh, my prayers go out to the family, friends, and uh, it's just a sad story. My God, um, much love to everybody, and uh, I hope you have a good day. God bless.